Hey there guys, what's up? It's your buddy Mike Pierre here and I hope you have a great day because for today we are now at episode 8 of our iCraft season 5 and now I'm trying to move out these llamas from our base because to be honest these bugs well, because they don't despawn, it's kinda annoying. So I'm trying to move these guys to our temporary base so they will be pretty out of sight, should I say. Well, sorry llamas, you cannot be part of our base. So let's grab this, another one right over here. As you can see, they're everywhere, right? But anyway, so for today's episode, well, we are going to start working on our gardens of Periona and it's gonna be our base of operations, our tree farm, and some other farms that we can have accessible while prepping up for our our bills, of course, that's pretty necessary, right? At least we can have our job pretty much easier. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so, well, the first part of this episode is gonna be some sort of uh, resource gathering again. Well, actually, we did that during the last episode. And, of course, some bit of, like, an exploration. Well, similar to what we have done during the last episode when we looked for the mesobiome. But for now, of course, we are going to collect some other stuff. Uh, for example, some place because I wanted to have some bricks on our pathways in a in the garden of Periona, and of course some grass blocks and some mycelium uh, because I also want to collect some mushroom stems as early as now because it's not easy to obtain those stuff, right? So I'm planning to have like uh, a manual mushroom stem farm should i say well i'm not pretty sure on how you have worked that out but anyway so well uh so basically on the end part of this episode uh, no not the, this episode but this uh, exploration and resource gathering is gonna be in a mushroom biome so we are going to look for a mushroom biome so at least you can have some mycelium so of course along the way uh we are also going to gather some flowers uh, we're gonna do some flower picking so at least we can already have some supplies of the especially some corn flowers uh, well I find it useful since lapis is uh, quite limited and not so easy to obtain especially in bulk so we are going to gather some of those corn flowers and some other flowers that we can have and as well as along the way of course uh, I'm also planning to travel with foot uh, especially that place are mostly found along the river so we'll travel gonna travel by foot or by swing along the river so we'll find that out so at least we can gather more and more clays right and the end goal for this episode is at least to work on the layout and the floorings uh, so at least we can already have our tree farm and maybe work on some part of our storage area so at least we can already have our stuff organized so well I think that will fit for this episode so well Without further ado, let's get started. Well, before we leave this place, let's have a silk touch shovel first. So let's try to make a silk touch shovel. I think I got a couple of shovels when we do a shulker run a couple of episodes ago. So I think uh, Mende? No? <laughs> That's an iron shovel though. I think we could use uh, two of these. Uh, this got efficiency three. We can combine this to make efficiency four and a breaking tree. So I think it uh, perfectly, perfectly fits well, right? So well, this is kind of expensive, but it's alright. We got like <laughs> uh, a bunch of experience. So let's uh, have a mending, and as well as, as of course the silk touch. Uh, of course, we are going to need this in order to get some mycelium uh, blocks. So, well, let's put this in our uh, let's put this back in our end chest. So, and as well as this shovel. So now it's time to start our travel. So basically, what I'm planning is to go west. I think that is where the mushroom biome is. It's pretty far. I think it's uh, more than a thousand blocks away from here. But of course, like I said, we are going to travel by foot. Of course, along the way, we are also going to do gather some clays and well so let's start this journey right well one perk of exploration is to see these naturally generated terrains which is especially this one this looks pretty awesome right i mean i wish i could have a base right over here with a small something like a hideout so yeah but probably we could do that in the future right <laughs> Well, good thing I thought of like using this silk touch for gathering these uh, clays, uh, clay blocks. So at least we can save up some spaces in our shulker. So at least, well, I'm actually thinking that we should probably, probably uh, gather a shulker of these clay blocks. But I know it will take much longer, but I guess it's fine. At least we could already have some reserves on our storage. And well, let's just continue to 
gathering this, right? And oh, we found the iceberg biome right over there. So at least we can already know where to get some blue eyes in the future and some actize. But anyways, of course, we are also doing some flower picking, which is pretty nice, right? <laughs> And finally, we already have gathered a shoulder of these clay blocks thanks to this uh, swampy area right over here. This is where I get both of these clay blocks. But anyway, so well, now it's time to go to the mushroom biome. So well, it's time to pack up and let's get there anyways. And of course, some treasure hunting will not hurt, right? But yeah, so let's check this very treasure map. Let's see if this is near and... Yeah, I think we're pretty far though. <laughs> and I think we already have passed this. So probably, probably let's just get that once we uh, on our way back to our base. So well, actually the mesobiome is, should be right over here in this direction. So well, that's where we are going to gather our mycelium. Well, we actually only need a few of them, maybe a stack or two or five, I don't know. <laughs> Because it's the only thing that we could use in order for us to grow some mushroom stems. And there you go. That's our uh, mushroom biome. Well, this is kind of odd, right? I mean, well, it's not an, a separate island. It's actually, yeah, connected to these extreme hills and the chunks are not loading. Yeah, this is kind of weird though. <laughs> And it's even connected to the savanna biome, which is totally weird. But anyway, so well, let's just gather some of this mycelium. And after this, of course, we are going to back to our base and I'll be back. And we're back in our base and of course, we are going to start our building session. But of course, we're also going to need to smelt these uh, clays in order to turn them into bricks. Of course, that's what we are going to use for our path. But of course, well, better to start this now because I know this will take longer, right? So while waiting for those bricks to be smelted, we're gonna start doing some layout on this part right over here in the center because what I'm planning to do here is to make this open and it will be gonna be our uh, strip mining area. So probably, of course, you are going to make some markings right over here. Let's just use this temporary sandstone as markings so it has to be up to here. So I'm planning to make this like a circular shape and of course, we are going to dig down here but not for this episode, of course. I'm going to do this off cam, right? <laughs> and we're done with that circular shape in the center. So, well, we'll just leave that be. So, the next thing that we have to do is to make some paths on the center right over here and as well as on this side right over here and over there as well. So, as much as possible, we are going to try to make this symmetrical to make it look good. And, of course, uh, we are going to start to mark the plats for our tree farm and as well as on the back side right over here. So, Probably we are going to have the tall trees in the front area right over here, the spruce and as well as the jungle wood. So well, let's do it. Well, this is not actually intentional, but this started to look like a shape of an angel, right? <laughs> well, at least we got an angel in our garden. But anyway, so we're done with the layout right over here. So the next thing that we have to do is those back part right over there, which we're going to have the oak and as well as the birch because we have to cap them on a certain height. So at least we will not have a hard time to something like harvest them right similar to what we have done in Tashka but anyway so well let's start doing the layout over there and we're actually done with the layout at least for the ground section right over here I mean ground level so basically here's how it looks like so well like I said on this part right over here we're going to have the spruce trees and on this area we're going to have the jungle woods and on this corner right over here is where we are going to have oak and on this side we are going to have birch and on this corner right over here which that part right over there is actually where we're going to have the mushroom so that's where we are going to use our mycelium so at least for that corner we can cap them then right and on this part right over here over there actually <laughs> is actually where we go we are going to have our dive farms uh well of course we're not gonna do that for this episode probably on the next episode that's the time we're going to build our micro farms for the dice and on this section right over here is where we are going to have our smeltery that corner right over there is where we are going to have our furnaces and as well as our smokers and some blast furnaces on that corner right over here and as well as 
Well, on the other side right over here, which is on the back side of this map, basically this corner right over here, is where we are going to have our enchanting area and as well as, of course, uh, on this side right over here, on this part, is where we are going to have our storage system. This is, we are actually going to fill this with a lot of chests and of course, on those, these both sides are where we are going to have our, um, our box storage area and on this section right over here is where we are going to have our not so bulk items where we are going to uh, we are going to store most of our stuff so well of course we are going to fill this with chests and i hope well i should probably start planting some trees in order to get some more woods right but anyway so that's our plan for this ground floor at least and i'm still uh, smelting some of these uh, clay so well, this take a lot slower than i thought of but anyway so well let's just continue building our garden right and well so like i expected uh we're running out of wood for these chests over here so probably we should start planting some trees on the side right over there i should have done this earlier though <laughs> of course well let's start filling those with some grass blocks and of course planting some trees in order to fill this area right over here our storage chest and of course on these sides as well and also, I'm planning to have here like our access going to the waters on the backside right over there. So at least whenever we see some squids on the outside, we can easily butcher them, right? <laughs> of course, soon enough, we are going to need a lot of uh, squid eggs because of this dark prismarine. But anyway, so well, let's fill the tree farm with some grass block and I'll be back. And we have finally filled up this part right over here with uh, this bunch full of chests. And of course, this area is going to be our box storage. And this area are for not so bulk items. And same as on that corner right over there is for box storage. And I also have dug this tunnel right over here, which is our access going to the waters in order for us to have an easy access going out here, especially that, of course. Well, I also have done this uh, safety room right over here where we can actually AFK from time to time, especially when I'm uh, actually having a break. Of course, we also got this temporarily on the top part before now i already have moved this over here so at least it's pretty much accessible right <laughs> but anyway so well we're actually still waiting for those bricks to be smelted and we already ran out of lava so now it's time to get uh, to get some more lava back in our temporary base because that is where we have uh you know a stream of lava over there but anyway so well i uh, actually also have done uh this session right over here of course well we still need to fill this with some bricks and also i forgot to mention about this uh, mushroom right over here well i didn't expect that we can only plant four of these but it's actually fine because we need to bone mill them because they don't actually grow instantly so that's why probably four is enough for the meantime but of course i still need to experiment them right <laughs> And now we're actually done with the ground floor. So basically, of course, well, we have this uh, wonderful layout. Now uh, we still have the angel visible. But anyway, so well, I haven't planted the trees yet because, of course, we still need to have the ceiling on the top. And these traveling merchants are... I hope you will not leave your llama over here, right? <laughs> but anyway, so well, it's time to move on. Of course, the first thing that we have to do before we move on to the upper ground is, of course, the ceiling for the ground floor. And up the top of that ceiling is going to be, of course, the same as the grass blocks and the pathways on the second level over here in order to have the other trees like as well as uh, the savanna, oh no, not the acacia, I mean, and as well as the dark oak on this side right over here, of course. Well, so it's time to move on on the upper levels and let's do it and so far here's the design that i came up with at least for this section so somehow well at least we can already plant these oak trees because probably of course well as you can see we're already starting using it so at least we can already have our supply of these oak plants to be used for the ceiling so very much well it's pretty safe to plant these oak seeds uh, these are already capped right and these limes oh my god <laughs> I'm already already fed up with these guys though. I hope once we already have finished this garden of Periona, these guys will be gone. But I don't think so because we we'll, somehow we still need them, right? <laughs> 
And also, we're done in this part right over here, which looks pretty gorgeous, right? But anyway, so I also have done this section right over here, which is pretty much uh, just a flip version of what we have on the other side. So basically, like I said, this place is uh, as much as possible will have this symmetrical. So that's why it looks like this, right? But it looks pretty great, right? So, well, the last couple of things that I want to do before we end this episode because I think I have to cut this into two parts, well, uh, about the Gardens of Periona. So, basically, of course, we are going to cover up to this area right over here, up to this section. So, well, I just wanted to do at least the layout before we end this episode, at least uh, on this part right over here. So, at least we'll know uh, where the buy level is going to be up to. So these glowstones right over here marks the end of the buy level. So basically on this side, we're going to have two levels and on this side, it's just going to be open. And I'm also planning to have something like Express Elevator on these uh, two sides right over here, which we're probably going to do in the future episodes, but not for now. Of course, we still don't have any floors on the top part, right? But anyway, so I think I can still fit in something like to decorate this section right over here. So at least we can already know well, somehow an idea on, uh, but I should probably at the bottom though. But basically, I wanted to do this ceiling. That's the last thing that I want to do and let's do it. And well, I'm totally having fun on using these lamps because they look pretty gorgeous in our builds, right? I mean, I really like what we have done here, especially that. Well, it's totally appropriate. I think so, right? <laughs> but anyway, so well, on this section right over here, this is where we are going to have our die farms. Of course, we are going to use something like micro farms for those dies. Of course, that's for you guys watch out on the next episode because if i'm going to finish everything for this episode it will probably we're going to have like a one hour episode but of course well uh, i have to cut it on this part well actually we already have accomplished a lot of things for this episode i think so right especially of course the storage area right over here of course i still need to organize our stuff here i still need to put something like the item frames of course just to label those stuff and well yes and also this part right over here i have to do this off cam because i'm just going to dig down here up to level five maybe or maybe somewhere like that because uh this is where we are going to have our strip mining area and of course probably i'm also gonna do this off cam because we just need to copy whatever we have done there on the flip version so basically it's pretty much the same right so well, for the next episode, of course, we are going to continue building here. Of course, we are going to finish this Gardens of Periona. This is actually a very massive project, but probably there are going to be two more episodes for this. So, well, for the next episode, of course, we are going to start uh, laying out this session right over here. Of course, the second level of our Gardens of Periona. And of course, well, we are going to have more tree farms over here. Of course, this side is going to be the Acacia and the, on the other side is we're going to have the Dark Oak. And also, I forgot to show you guys this. Uh, this is where we are going to have actually our Nether Portal. So this is going to be our access. So probably, of course, we have to make a nice entrance. Uh, of course, a nice decorations on the ceiling. And of course, that llama again, well, I didn't realize I, we have another llama on the top of that garden farm though. Well, I have to get rid of him. But anyway, so I think I have to cut it for this episode. Of course, we still got a part two for our City of Periona project. But anyway, so at least we have accomplished a lot for this episode. So well, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. This has been Mikey Perion and of course, see you guys on the part 2 and well, I'm excited about it, right? <laughs>